couldn't make up lawyers suing a local law school, but that's exactly what's happening tonight. Former students of the Florida Coastal School of Law they were guaranteed they would find a job out of school, a job that paid them big bucks. But apparently the field of law isn't recession-proof. Fox 30 Action News' Amanda Warford is live on the action camp from the south side. And Amanda, these students say that they paid a fortune to that school and aren't getting any return on their investment. Now, to get your degree here at Florida Coastal School of Law, it's going to run you about $100,000. But a few recent grads say they haven't been able to find a job that pays enough There's to help them pay off all that, that debt. And they're blaming the school for giving them false hope. I just figured it might open up a few more doors for me. Stephen Ishak couldn't find a job after college, so he enrolled at Jacksonville's Florida Coastal School of Law. My number one goal is just to get my foot in the door. Even though it's a for-profit program, he was impressed by the school's reported success. I think that at the time, they had to take it. 85 or 90 percent bar passage rate. Last year, Florida Coastal reported a 92 percent job placement rate. But that's not true, says six former students who filed a $100 million class action lawsuit last month. Their attorney, David Anziska, says those numbers are misleading, especially in this economy. There's just no way that post-2007 you could have placement rates of 90 plus percent reported by nearly every single law school. That's just not possible. While more than 90 percent of students may have found work, Anziska says the jobs weren't necessarily in law. They failed to break down that the overwhelming majority of the students are obtaining part-time work, volunteer work, temporary work, or work that in no way requires them to use their JD degree. The school says they were just following American Bar Association reporting methods just like other schools. But Anziska says that's the real problem. So to fix it, he's going after 14 more schools. <sighs> Meanwhile, Ishak is closely following the real-life lesson in law, hoping he will find a job doing something when graduation day comes. It just so happens to be that I get to be a lawyer and go practice law. And I'm a very lucky person to be able to have that opportunity. The school did file a motion to dismiss this case last week. Meanwhile, Anziska says he'll be filing suits against another 20 schools next week and even more later in the year. He's calling 2012 the year of law school litigation. We're live on the south side, Amanda Warford, Fox 30. And right now, the Florida Coastal School of Law has more than 1,500 students enrolled in its law programs. Students called a passing rainstorm this afternoon. Haven't